You yeah. know it. Well, people up in Greenbush got that. Right? Yeah, I mean, we don't believe in cell phones. Got that Greenbush. fancy, <laughs> that fancy, dancy landline. But you still business. use those two. We're things using those phones that you have to like uh, spin or whatever. You know, we're still using those. You know. <laughs> the hey, rotary uh, dial. The works. rotary dial. Yeah. The, ro- the old classic rotary <laughs> dial. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah, we're just like now we're just looking at that phone like. We, we're supposed to have a, another guest, but you know maybe he just found out about the phone problems and just said the heck with it. Yeah. Maybe word just got around. <laughs> yeah. Maybe DDP called him. I don't know. Hey, don't call that college station. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah. Their yeah. Phone's yeah. Evil. We're yeah. terrible. A bunch of kids running it. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dialed down the center. Right? Yeah. Yeah. One eight hundred eighteen. Oh, I know. And it's, <laughs> Yeah, don't you just feel awful when, when when it's like it's not even really your fault all the way, but yeah. Yeah, it's just like it's, it's a miscommunication. When you got a big major guest like DDP. I mean, well, he's a, yeah, he's a I mean, we totally guy. we totally think he's great. Yep. I mean, but instead, that's live radio, man. Oh yeah. man, exactly. We we fly without the net, and you know sometimes uh, whether it's our our happening or you know, our hand or someone else's hand, yeah, we definitely definitely blow it and we blow it big. Ah, oh, I don't know if I could ever live again. <laughs> hey, don't don't worry though. You know, TV stations go to that problem all the time. So, yeah. mm-hmm. well, you know, we got some time here on the show. It's uh, five minutes after five uh, or eight, eight o'clock. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm really five like, o'clock Eastern time. Yeah, yeah. Pacific there we go. There we go. Whatever. It's not even five. Uh, it's eight <laughs> o'clock. It's uh, yeah. We're getting heading below zero here tonight uh, in the Northland. Not a good way to go. We're looking, uh, well, tonight. Well, we got five to ten above. They're saying for lows, but I mean, we're already at one. We're kind of a uh, we're kind of pushing things, are we, well, guys? Well, I seen Canadian on program. the weather earlier today. They're just, uh, it depends which places clear off faster. <laughs> and I tell you what, once that cloud cover goes away, man, that thing just dips. Oh, it definitely. Below zero. Yeah, we're definitely looking Below at the some. donut. It was kind of a beautiful day, though. I mean, with the weather, it's sun. Well, it's nice, kids, man. <laughs> Like carefree over yeah, there. Yeah, Tom uh, Shemansky would eat it, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> Do we really want to know what happened to Tom Shemansky? Uh, well, yeah. I seen him in rehab the other day. Oh. He's doing all right. He says hi. What are you doing in rehab? <laughs> I'm anyway. uh, just going in there for a quick tune-up. A little tune-up. <laughs> anyway, Glenn has some news for us. Oh, we got some news. Oh, thanks for the segue <laughs> there, no uh, Sugar Sean. Uh, Gene Simmons wants Simon Cowell's job. He's nice. convinced he would make a better judge on the TV mogul's reality singing contest because... He's had real experience in the music industry. I'm, I'm very smart, I'm very, very intelligent. I can't do a Gene Simmons to save my life. Do you think he'd be nicer than Simon Cowell? To the uh, you know what? I think he'd be probably the most honest. I think they kind of missed the boat with him on this. Yeah, Gene Simmons, he's kind of mellowfied, you know. Mm-hmm. He's just, a laid-back, letty guy. Yeah, he, he insists that he's more qualified than anybody to dole out advice on the program, which he claims. We'll never discover any music legends like Jimi Hendrix or Robert Plant. He tells Britain's Daily Star, I think I would, we could be the sole judge on The X Factor. I'm more qualified than anybody on the show. Nobody on the show has written songs, then been on stage, or had record companies, and managed Liza Minnelli. <laughs> why does he even claim still that? Why does he even bring that up? It's the highlight <laughs> of his life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think he helped her uh, get hooked yeah, up with I the Petra boys. Yeah, just let that show die in peace. Mm. You know, it's been going on, what, ten years but now? But we love our reality TV. This is the future. Yeah. <laughs> but Funny I mean, reality <laughs> TV was that way back in the day. Yeah. Real world, man. Oh, Come yeah. on world now. Rules, yeah. Tough enough. I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's ah. just back then we had some all right writers that worked with TV. Mm-hmm. And they had that writer's strike. Bam. Yeah, Seinfeld everything kind of went off the air. I think everything has just kind of got it knocked out of whack after yeah. the writer's strike, even, you know, even more so. I still enjoy my reruns of Everybody Loves Raymond on TBS. So. Oh, how do you find <laughs> that show even funny, man? Oh, I love dry humor. That yeah, bit, that dry humor. Maybe that's why I'm not on the air no more, because I love dry humor. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, Gene says, uh, nobody could shine my shoes. I like the old lady on there. She's kind of funny. But how about according to Jim? Man, that show's not even funny. <laughs> oh, come on. I, I think they just use that as filler. Hey, if John Belushi was still alive and he did According to John, you know it would be hilarious. So, you know. I don't think John Belushi would be doing According to John. Yeah. Let's, let's just uh, leave that out in the open here. Let's get back into this Gene Simmons story. Okay. Nobody can shine my shoes. I wanted to take that. Sure. Maybe Simon uh, should talk to me, although he is the only one on television that tells the truth. Everybody is nice. But that's not how life is. Life is, you suck. 
Get off the stage. Realistic is good. Part of the reason we like watching these shows is because there are people up there and you're like, are you on crack? Do you actually believe that you belong on stage? The biggest superstars of all time would have never made it on The X Factor. Imagine if Jimi Hendrix or Mick Jagger or Robert Plant came out. I wouldn't make it and neither would they. We're peculiar and that's what makes stars interesting. Not the fact that you could sing well. Broadway and pop is the place where people really sing correctly. He's got a lot of making a lot of valid points here. I mean, you really can't argue with uh, what Gene Simmons has said, and uh, I think that's a represents a pretty strong case for him coming on and uh, well, that's being a judge. I I, I don't think yeah, it's that good. bad of a deal. They're probably saying, well, he's on that reality show. Well, who isn't? I mean, yeah. what, I mean, look at Brett Michaels. You had pandering for this uh, American Idol job, and then they ended up uh, hiring Steven Tyler and J Lo. Two old people that are just on the downside. I mean, Aerosmith, he, he can just go and tour forever and just do the hits and, yeah. and not have to worry about it. But I don't know. He's he's in his 60s now. I guess he's thinking this is going to be his last big old blast. And, you know, I, I like Steven Tyler the way he was 20, 30, 35 years ago. When he was all messed up. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And even That's when the music was good. <laughs> <laughs> but, do you, but do you think that if uh, American Idol was running back in the 60s, like the Beatles were running They didn't back need together? American Idol back in the saying, 60s. Though, just, just use the imagination. They would have, it would have generified the whole thing, and we would have <laughs> ended up with more Frankie Avalons than, uh, oh, wow. yeah, than yeah, John yeah. Lennon. You can still connect with the Beatles on iTunes. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I'm just saying use our imagination like Mr. Rogers gave us. You know? Mr. Rogers didn't uh, give it. My mom <laughs> gave him my imagination. <laughs> How the heck could that guy catch a shoe every episode? I don't know. I try that. I, I would love to see like, the outtakes yeah. of that. <laughs> He'd be swearing. He's like, you can't say that. Well, we got one more uh, uh, Simon Cowell related story. Uh, the Who's Roger uh, Daltrey is the latest star to have a go at uh, X Factor American Idol mastermind Simon Cowell. The veteran rocker believes the music industry is in crisis, and he blames Simon, according to an article in the uh, recent Sun newspaper. Roger says, uh, we really need to break away from the X Factor and American Idol. That Simon Cowell thing, I really think the music industry will beat this slump and come back stronger. Groups like The Who, The Rolling Stones, and The Beatles, where's Kiss? <laughs> Wouldn't have made it past the audition stage, let alone be shown on TV. That's the joke of it. The music they make on the show is absolute tripe. He's made a good industry out of it, but it's belittled the power of music. He wouldn't know the X Factor, or he wouldn't know what the X Factor was if it bit him on the, the blank. Wasn't x Pac a part of the X Factor back in 2001? Uh, Sean <laughs> Sean the Wrestling Mark yeah, over here is uh, giving into old storylines that don't segue, matter. You know, it works. You know. I don't think it, uh, you know, should, I, should we segue to some music? Yeah. I think we got a, a new one from the Smashing Pumpkins. Hey, Billy Corgan <laughs> yeah. in the house. Yeah, the one-time date mate of uh, Jessica Simpson is back, and hopefully this doesn't sound anything like is American still Idol or X-Factor. I don't think he got the Elton John magic hair transplant. Oh, <laughs> Billy Corgan, all right. But he does have some music for us. It's uh, should I do in the old Kenny R voice from the old radio days. Oh yeah, Kenny R. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you something. I've got a good one here coming from the Smashing Pumpkins. It's called The Fellowship on the Tuesday Night Experiment. I don't know what to make of this one. You know, we're always trying to play new music. You know, we're always trying to have, have an open mind. Show them a little love. You know, give them the rub. Now, special rub. No. <laughs> no, not that rub. Did, did you get in the catnip tonight there? I, I know. <laughs> Smashing pumpkins. Uh, I think new this stuff. is what happens when I'm, when I'm late. You know? when, yeah, I mean, you're, you're just completely all over the tracks Unscripted, tonight. Scripted, uncensored. Well, you know, to a point. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know we were supposed to be. We scripted? <laughs> oh, I, if we did, uh, we, 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 we'd have proper phone connections. I guess so. I don't know, man. I, you're scaring me. But you know what? Uh, you know we, we're having problems with our printer at the studio here tonight. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's kind of crazy. But we have got something here. Uh, I, I, you brought it up on the. Sc- I brought it up on the screen. I'm going to be fair to you because each and every week we definitely, I've definitely okayed and given the green light yeah. for, for our favorite, <laughs> our favorite segment on the show. <laughs> It's not like our, our and your cronies saying that we're yes. giving you crap. Yeah, yeah. What, before we go into this, yeah. what's up with that? Uh, and, and now this comes from the fellow.